Good morning, writers. We are still working on our informational writing unit where we are going to write a piece to inform our writers of a specific topic. At this point, you have worked on brainstorming some possibilities. You have worked on creating a list of your top three choices in topics and spending a very short amount of time to go through and find some sources and see how much information is out there about that topic. Again, I would um, guide you towards picking a topic that there is enough information and several different sources, whether it's books, magazines, websites, um, even documentaries, uh, television shows, um, lots of different places that you can find this information about your topic. Do not choose something that is um, so new and um, obscure or unknown to the point that there's not enough information. So I would steer clear of YouTube stars or um, streamers, things like that, because there might not be enough information out there for you to write an entire paper about that, uh, that person or that thing. So you should have a list of three topics that are possibilities. Today we're going to um, try to narrow down our choice by thinking about the different ways that we can structure our essay, the different organizational patterns, and it might give us an idea of um, kind of how we want to go about this and a way to um, find an angle. So if you had a topic that was pretty broad and you were thinking about how can I make this more specific, today might give you um, a better idea of how you might be able to structure that and um, kind of your angle and your position as you're writing. So there are different organizational patterns that you can use while writing a nonfiction piece or an article, um, an informational essay. And we're going to go through some of those. Um, and some are better for certain topics and um, some might not work for certain topics. So one style that you can use as you are writing your informational piece is sequencing. When we sequence, we put things in order, one, two, three, four. Um, when you write a sequential piece, the author explains a process, a step-by-step, -step, or they place things in order uh, by chronological order, which is time. So you will see this a lot um, in how-to writing or step-by-step. Um, -step or the, the timeline of something, an event or a person, or you can place it in order from time. So sequencing is one pattern. Description, this is very general. Um, we use this for a topic that um, you just want to describe this thing or this place or this person in general. It defines and describes the topic, topic um, by using um, facts, characteristics, um, things that have happened, or um, just general description of the topic. Compare and contrast. We all know what that means. We have two things. We are going to say how they are alike and how they are different. This one is probably pretty tricky to use in your informational piece because we want a single topic. We don't want two topics. So I'll give you a little bit of an idea of how you could use this, but um, unless you have a topic that is very suited to compare and contrast, I would steer clear of this one because um, I don't want you to try to focus on two things at once. Problem and solution. So the author presents a problem that we experience or they experience, and they offer possible solutions to that problem. A question answer. Here's my question. How can I answer it? How can I solve it? Cause and effect. The author explains an event, what causes it, what causes that situation, and then what happens after that event. This is another one that's probably going to be pretty tricky to use, so I would steer clear of this unless you have a topic that is very suited to cause and effect. So here's the general overview. We have sequence, description, compare and contrast, problem and solution, cause and effect. We are going to look at some sample topics and how they, um, which organizational pattern would fit for our sample topics. Okay, so I have given a list of 
various topics, um, some random topics here, and we're going to try to place them with an organizational pattern that would fit that specific topic. So um, I'm going to read through them and then I want you to take some time to try to um, match them up to the other side for which one they might go with. So the life of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, there's a lot of information out there. Um, there are kind of various ways that you could um, organize an essay about Abraham Lincoln, but the life of Abraham Lincoln is the topic choice. So how could you organize that specifically? Why tornadoes occur and what damage can they do? Basketball, college basketball versus professional basketball. It's a single topic, but um, kind of su two subtopics there. Pollution and what we can do about it. And foxes, very general there. I want you to pause the video here and try to match each of these up to one type or one pattern over on the right side that you think would best fit that topic choice. There is one um, one to one here. There's probably multiple ways that you could do some of these, um, but I want you to pick one pattern per one topic. So they should each have a style there. Pause here and try to figure those out. Okay, now I'm gonna go over this with you and show you how um, I think these could be organized. The life of Abraham Lincoln. So the entire life, it spans from the time he was born to the time that he died and everything that happened in between. That was a, that's a sequence. A lot of times if you um, look up a person on Wikipedia, um, the information they give, the different sections, are organized in sequential order. The, their early life at home, um, maybe their education, their career, and then um, some other facts at the end. So it's normally kind of in order there of a timeline. So if you were to write about Abraham Lincoln, you could write that um, chronologically. So um, in order from birth to death. Next topic, why do tornadoes occur and what damage they can do? Again, this is a pretty tricky one. This is a cause and effect. So um, what starts a tornado? And then after it starts, what happens next? So what damage is done afterwards? Cause and effect is probably a pretty tricky one for you to try out. So I would steer clear of that um, unless you are specifically um, given permission or you have a topic that fits that and then you can come to me and talk about that. Um, but I would try to steer clear of that one if I were you guys. Basketball. College basketball versus professional basketball. This is a compare and contrast. I said this is another tricky one to use because I don't want you to use two very different topics. I would not want you to say um, professional football versus professional basketball. Those are two very, very different topics. Um, so you can use basketball as your main topic and then break that down into um, some subtopics there with college basketball and professional basketball. How are they alike and how are they different? Um, because there are some similarities and there are some differences. So that's a compare and contrast. Um, another pretty tricky one to use unless you have a very specific topic that fits the compare and contrast uh, model or pattern. Pollution and what we can do about it. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. Pollution is a problem. What are some solutions? What can we do about it? What could you do about it? So that's a problem and solution. This is another one that um, if you have a specific topic that leads, lends itself to problem solution, come talk to me and um, I will approve that. Otherwise, um, don't, don't go towards problem solution unless your topic is very fitting for that. And then the last one, foxes, very general topic with a pretty general pattern description. This is a general description of foxes. So there are um, several options for your topic and how you could um, organize it and create a pattern. Um, there's not just any one right answer per topic, but when you narrow down your topic, it lends itself to a certain pattern or a certain organization. And if there is a certain type of pattern that um, you think sounds fitting for your topic, that also might help you narrow your topic down on the other end. For example, I've given you some um, 
of my topics and patterns that could go along with those topics. I did not use all the different patterns in my examples because my um, topic choices might not be fitting for all of those. So um, let me explain that a little bit more. My topics, again, are Elon Musk, weightlifting, and succulents, houseplants, cactuses, um, if you're not familiar with the term succulent. So the first one, Elon Musk, um, this is a person. He is alive today. I could write that um, in sequencing. I could write about his, his lifetime, um, his early life, where he was born, his education, his career, um, the different moves he's made throughout his career. Or I could just give a general description of the person, Elon Musk. I could also um, describe the different companies that he has started and owns as a general description of Elon Musk. Weightlifting. Um, I can organize this in a couple different ways. I can choose a cause and effect. So um, for a person who is into weightlifting, what does that affect on their body? The weightlifting is the cause. When they do that, what happens to their body? Um, so I can talk about some of the fitness and the benefits there. Description. I can just describe weightlifting in general. I can give a history of that. I can, um, you know, talk about the different the different types or um, equipment that you might need, things like that, just in general. And then I could do a compare and contrast. There are um, two main types of weightlifting. There's Olympic, um, which is if any of you are familiar with CrossFit, that's Olympic weightlifting, and then there's power lifting. Um, they're different from each other. Those are the two uh, biggest main types. So I could compare and contrast those. Weightlifting is the topic. The two types would be subtopics for compare and contrast. Um, again, don't do two very, very different topics like weightlifting versus running. We're not doing that. We need a topic and then how to break that down into subtopics within that one. And then succulents. Um, that's a very general topic like I talked about. If I need to focus that in a little bit more, um, that might guide how I organize it and how what pattern I choose to use. Um, for example, I talked about I could talk about propagating succulents, which is growing new succulents how to take um, a clipping or a piece of one and make new plants. That would be great for sequencing. I could give a step-by-step -step how to grow new succulents. I could also do description. If I chose to do um, the care of house plants and succulents in particular, I could describe the care that they require um, and just give a general description of succulents and how to take care of them. Now, I did not explain how I would use problem and solution in my um, topic choices because I don't think there's one that's very fitting for problem and solution. I didn't choose topics that would lend itself to a problem and solution organization type. You might not have either. You might not have the choice of all five of these patterns. You might have topics that are pretty specific to a certain type of pattern. The last thing you are going to work on today is to look at your own three topic choices from yesterday that you um, listed as your top three. And you are going to see if there are different ways that you could organize your writing. And um, if your topic would be, um, would lend itself to a certain type of pattern. So for example, I showed you mine over here. Um, if I was to write about Elon Musk, weightlifting or succulents, the different options that I would have for organization. You are going to have a worksheet that you are going to fill out. Um, you're going to write in topic one, topic two, topic three, and you can either draw a line or make a list or whatever. See um, if there are different ways that you might choose to organize your piece in your writing, and that might help guide how you want to make a choice and how you want to go about it. If there's a um, one that you would really like to just do description and be pretty general um, and you have one that's really great for description, that might be where you want to go. So um, go through the worksheet, 
upload it. I would like to see your top three and how you might organize them. Good luck.